Want even more details? Click the link for the full guide. Step number one is drink water, drink water, and drink more water. This will take care of things like headaches, muscle cramps, and the occasional heart palpitation. It sounds terrifying, I know. Step number two is that you need to get on board the electrolyte train. Drink keto lemonade, I'll include the full recipe below, rock a fuel bone broth, and have at least one teaspoon of sea salt a day. This will help with fatigue, diarrhea, heart palpitations, and dizziness. This is where bone broth comes in. It's super rich in electrolytes and can deliver salt to your body quicker than you can say keto flu. Step number three is all about electrolyte rich foods like incorporating avocados, nuts, fish, fermented vegetables, and dark leafy greens which will help further alleviate things like fatigue, muscle cramps, and dizziness. And if you don't keep your electrolytes in check you can experience keto flu indefinitely. Even three months, six months, or two years down the line of you starting eating keto and that's no fun. Step number four is you need to step up your fat game. So oftentimes people will start the ketogenic diet and not eat enough fat and then feel miserable because of it. My fat bomb recipes will encourage your body to become fat adapted and treat symptoms like brain fog, irritability, and carb cravings. I'll include a link down below to all of my free fat bomb recipes. Step number five is that you need to get magnesium in your body and you need to move your body. Supplementing with magnesium is super helpful in the fight against muscle cramps and fatigue. Additionally, any movement you can tolerate is good movement and will help conquer insomnia. So if you go for like a quick walk or you take your kids to the park or things like that. These five steps should deliver the knockout blow you need to kick keto flu to the curb. That being said, want even more details? Click the link for the full guide.